Hi, I'm Lara for Poker News and I'm here with Josh, who just moments ago won the 1500 PLO. How are you feeling? I saw some emotion there. Yeah, uh, it's a big weight off my shoulders. I'm super excited. All the same shit everybody else says, but um, I'm relieved, I'm happy, I'm ready to play some more, I guess. You've had a couple of near misses before. You've been second a couple of times, the 50K back in 2019. How do you handle those disappointments? Um, count money. I mean, second place still pays a lot. Uh, it wears off, and you know, in the 50K, losing to Philip Hughes, just an even better guy than he is a poker player, um, it didn't really hurt that bad. I, I, yeah, it stings for a minute because you know, you start forecasting like what could be and it's like you start looking at the bracelet and start looking at the trophy um, but it now it's I mean I won like 900,000 so it's it's that solves a lot of issues. Does it intensify the emotions when you do finally make that first place? It feels really fucking good. I mean it's I, it, it, I feel really good right now. Um, I wish that my girlfriend was here with me to celebrate. I wish my kids were here but uh, that'll come. Now you were a chip leader from day one. Did that help with your confidence? Did you feel from the start that this could be the one? Um, yes and no, but like when we're playing Potlum in Omaha and I get a big stack, I'm going to cause no matter who it is trouble. Like I don't care. I'm I'm gonna give the best of the best trouble if if I get spotted a big stack. Um, I just feel comfortable and I don't mind gambling and so yeah I mean anytime any anybody gets started with gets a big stack they're gonna cause havoc to the rest of the people. You're obviously a big PLO player what is it specifically about PLO that attracts um, you to the game? I don't have to sit there and fold and I don't have to look at range charts and I don't have to study it as much like I just play I don't know I just have a feel for it and I enjoy the gamble aspect of it, um, and like, I don't know, I just, I don't feel like an idiot like I do when I'm playing high limit, no limit against the really good players. And you tweeted recently that this stretch is going to be the longest you've ever done here. Why this year? Um, because my mindset, I'm in a better place mentally than I've ever been in my whole life. Um, I have amazing relationship with my daughters and I've finally got my personal life to a place that I'm really excited about and I just I'm enjoying playing every day and I'll just go with it I only get to play the World Series once a year and I'm getting older so I don't know how much longer I'll be able to do it and final question you mentioned earlier that you would love to uh, make it into the Poker Hall of Fame why is that so important to you just so like because when I started playing poker, I was like, I was afraid to tell people that I was a poker player, just because it's like, oh, you do what? And you're like a, a hustler and a gangster and, and just, and for my daughters to be able to tell somebody that, that my dad plays poker and then, well, he's actually in the Poker Hall of Fame, I think that would be really cool for me to pass down to my daughters and something that, uh, that I would be proud of just, and my daughters would be able to say, yeah, well, my dad's this, you know. And I, think, I think regardless, you have an amazing legacy and, and people I think of you that it. way already. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for talking Thank to you. us and congratulations. Our coverage of the WSOP is powered by Club GG.